I'm so sorry. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do. I mean, I don't know what I can do, but let me know and I hope you feel better. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. I just found out that one of my good friends is really sick. I wish there was something I can do, but I mean, what can I do? I'm not a doctor. I can't like heal them. Sometimes it can seem like there's just so much sadness, so many people with so many hurts in the world. How can we possibly help heal it all? I mean, Jesus was able to heal people, but um, duh, he's Jesus and I'm, well, just me. Do you have a minute? Yeah, what's up? Well, I need help organizing food for the food pantry, loading it into my car and making snack packs. I need help. I mean, yeah, but I have all my kids with me. Can they come too? Perfect. Something I learned today is that healing can look many different ways because hurts and injuries are not always visible on the outside. Now, I understand that healing the world might sound like a really big job, but that's one of the best things about our church is that we have people like Miss Lisa and the Serving Others Department that help us find ways that we can do even more than we thought we could. And you are never too old or too young to help. We can help heal the hurts. That is one reason that I am so excited about our Lenten mission with Heifer International. Because on our own, we might not seem like we could make a big difference, but when we all work together, we can change the world. We can begin healing the world one community at a time. Remember, God is with you everywhere you go, and each and every one of you is a beloved child of God. Mom, who are you talking to? It's my friends. I didn't know you had friends. 